we'll be working with the hand in the arm series, page number 95, step number 36. So, clients usually laying comfortably, savasana. We're going to take our pinky and ring finger and interlace between the middle finger and the next finger so that we're able to support the hand, uh, like so. Um, this is so that we can do hand points and I'll also have to address the send line. So acupressure points like on the feet, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So finding like underneath that first ball of the hand, midline, and then the heel of the hand. And when you flip the uh, hand over, we're at 10 and 11 between like the thumb and the pinky finger and the next fingers, kind of opening up to the sides. We've got hand lines that start at the wrist and just draw out over the fingers, kind of like the feet, and we'll have a neat little hand stretch. There's only one major energy line through the arm, yet we have a couple branches in the forearm. I'll show you those in a moment. So I'll continue on with the weaving of my fingers here. And whether or not um, you need more or less pressure, some clients here, you can do your little thumb circles coming in, and this is bilateral. So, um, if you needed more pressure, excuse me, coming down between your legs and then leaning into rocking forward and sometimes even coming up and giving a full spread open of the hand is very nice. So a few different ways of being depending on how much pressure you need for that. So top and the bottom doesn't need a lot, or I'm sorry, 10 and 11 doesn't need a lot of pressure. Then I'm going to just roll through the back of the hand there. I'm sorry, I believe that these should probably be the hand stretch first. So, oh, thumb circle the back of the hand, I was right. So checking in, making sure I have things in order and well enough. <laughs> So thumb circles over thumb and pinky, coming back up, and it's like the foot. The top of the skin of, uh, of the hand, is, like the top of the foot, is more delicate. So I'm running over those lines, but trying to get between the bones as much as possible. Okay, so um, there's an interesting little palm stretch that we can do um, by running our thumbs from the base of our client's hand over their the tips of their fingers and thumb, and then taking the next two doing the same, and the middle finger. However, it's an interesting little process where I'm leaning forward with my thumbs down and my hands cover most of their hand to support, so that as I lean back, I can just allow my thumbs to roll and draw out over, but the back there doesn't move. We don't want to be dragging the skin on the back of the hand. It doesn't feel as good. So those are pretty static. If your hands are super small, you might have to like walk step your hands up as you do that if the person's hand is really big. So as uh, you become more familiar with that and a little bit more comfortable, it'll become a little bit more sweeping of emotion. Um, you can stop short in the palm of the hand, it feels really good, and then open up into the fingers and then all the way out the fingertips as you get more comfortable with that as well. So that was stretch the palm and the fingers. 39, pull each finger, crack knuckles, it's kind of the same thing. We massage the tops and bottoms and the sides, circle the finger and maybe just give it a little there to stimulate reflexology reflexively sinuses the ears various um, yeah, really it's the upper respiratory hey give me your arm so you gotta like make sure that your clients aren't trying to help you too so it should be as relaxed as possible throughout the course of all of this and so there I've got all of the fingers so brain sorry brain sinuses ears nose the little action of doing that at the 